So, it's official. Donald Trump has officially been charged with, I believe, 36 counts. He is now officially in a convicted felon. First time in American history, about 250 years, they've never done it. Does anyone else here think this is actually the crimes that he should be going to jail for? The only people who really think that are people who are already voting for Biden anyway. All oh, this, you're, you're not going to have a bunch of people vote for a convicted felon? Yes, you will. In fact, the next time they do a poll, I think they just dropped one today, but wait till they do one about a week from now. Or wait till all the polling companies have, about a week from now when they do their polls, they're going to see Trump go up, I guarantee it. Every time he's been indicted, he goes up in the polls. I, don't, I, I mean, they're clearly weaponizing the justice system and people are seeing through it. The only people who don't see through it are people who were never going to vote for Trump anyway. So they're not gaining anything by this. Now you have people like me. Again, I'm Canadian. I don't get a vote. You've pushed me closer to supporting Trump. Now, I'm not. I support um, Robert Kennedy. But if I was American... After this decision, I would be thinking to myself, okay, do I need to vote for Trump just to get these clowns out of here? I don't want to vote for Trump. I want to vote for Robert Kennedy. But th there are people right now who are thinking about voting for Robert Kennedy, and they're saying, okay, I'm out of here. No offense to Robert Kennedy, but I got to vote for Trump because it, it, it's just an anti-Democrat vote at this moment. And they might do that. You're going to have independents, libertarians, again, people who are more like-minded like me, we're not pr convinced that this is completely um, justified. In fact, a lot of us, like myself, think it's complete bullshit. So, uh, that means we're more likely to go vote for Trump. He's going to gain in the polls. He's going to gain in the polls, probably especially in New York, and he's already within, double, uh, within uh, single digits. Which is pretty crazy considering New York's deep blue. Not anymore. Now they're light blue. And if they keep doing this shit, it might turn red. I don't think so. I think there's probably maybe a 20% chance that happens, but... I mean, that they keep pushing people, independents, libertarians, people who don't like Trump, but see what the Democrats are doing, and we're like, okay, we gotta stop this. So we'll just vote Republican. You're also gonna have Democrats who... No, they're not going to vote for Donald Trump because they don't like him either. But there's going to be a lot of Democrats who are pissed off about this as well because they know it's stupid. Even Chris Cuomo thinks it's stupid. So him and his fans, they might just stay home. Which means it's not going to be a gain for Trump, but it's going to be a loss for Biden, which essentially is a gain for Trump. Biden voters, unless you're just a hardcore Trump hater, are, are not enthusiastic about voting right now. And why would they be? So again, you know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is going to hurt or help Donald Trump in the polls? I think he's going to go up. Like nationally, too. He's already ahead by, I think, two points. How much do you think he's going to go up by? Or do you think he's going to go down? It's already shown, like, it's, again, it's very early. This just happened yesterday, but it's, it's there's not really seeing any impact from this uh, from a polling standpoint. I know it's, again, very early, but they did one poll. I think it was from Forbes and Harris, I think it was. But they showed Trump still with that 2% lead. No impact. Wait till next week, like I said earlier. Not to mention, yesterday, I think what, what Patrick Bet David was saying, he reported that Trump raised $52 million just yesterday, after the verdict. So people are still supporting him, and they're donating more money than ever. <laughs> It's, it's, it's wild what we've come to. And to think that people like Dick Cheney and George Bush and Bill Clinton and Barack Obama were never, never even indicted, never even investigated for all their war crimes. But you're going after some dude who had sex with a prostitute? Okay. Good luck with that. Because now he's going to appeal it. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in the sentencing. Uh, sentencing. I don't know if they're going to give him probation or whatever. But if, if they try to throw him in jail, he's going to appeal it, which I believe, and it goes to the Supreme Court. And he's prob they're probably not going to throw him in jail. 
And even if they decide to, the appeal process could take a very long time. The election could be over by that time. And if he wins, then it doesn't matter anyway, because he would just pardon himself. So I don't know. We'll see. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I mean, I'm not really shocked that he was he was found guilty. It's just kind of still shocking that this is the first time it's ever happened uh, in American history. I kind of saw it coming. I think a lot of us did. But now that it officially happened, it's just kind of like, wow. So what do you think? Is this going to hurt him or help him? I think it's going to help him. But let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks so much again for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.